Hello, welcome to Mama Do It Yourself. My name is Cecilia. You can find me in Ravelry as Mama DIY and in Instagram as Cecilia Lozada Crochet or also Mama D Patterns. Hello, how are you? Okay, in this tutorial we're gonna uh, learn to crochet the Sun Granny Square. It's a sunny square that it's a granny square that I took from a book and I make some modifications to adapt to the traveling Afghan by Leon Brand Yarns and it's a project that is uh, with two of ones. Alexandra is who is making this project um, with a lot of designers. For this tutorial we're going to use Wool Ease from Leon Brand Yarns. It's a yarn that is a worsted weight. I like it a lot, it's very soft. We're also going to use a crochet hook of 6 millimeters, marker stitch or stitch markers, a tapestry needle and scissors obviously. Starting this uh, granny square, we're gonna start with four chains and one slip stitch, joining the first stitch with the last stitch with a slip stitch. So let's make four chains one, two, three, and four, and then we join the last one with the first one with a slip stitch. And we're going to start crocheting inside this circle that we have here, okay? Now uh, we're going to make round one. For round one we're going to make three chains, one, two and three, and eleven double crochet inside this circle. So we're going to make like this. One. two, three, and eleven. And the first three chains counts as a double crochet. So in total we will have twelve double crochet inside this circle. So for finishing this round we're gonna make a slip stitch joining the last one with the first one here in the third change of the three chains that we make at the beginning of this row. So let's start. Oops. Okay, slip stitch. And here we have round one. Let's go with round two. In round two, we're going to make five chains. One, two, three, that counts as a double crochet, and two chains more. So we have five in total. And now we are going to make a double crochet in the next stitch, in this one. And we're going to repeat one chain, one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet, all around the, uh, this round. A chain, double crochet in the next stitch, one chain, one double crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm gonna make my last repetition, one chain, one double crochet, one chain, and now we're gonna close this round with a slip stitch in the third chain of the five chains that we make at the beginning of this row. So we're going to count one, two and three. And here we're going to make a slip stitch. And here we have two rounds, round one and round two. Let's start with round three. So in round three we're going to make a slip stitch First of all, in the first space of one chain here, 
we're gonna make a slip stitch so we're gonna start uh, crocheting inside this uh, the first space of the second round so we will start with one change that uh, do not count as a stitch and we're gonna make three single crochet inside this space so the first one one two and three okay and now we're gonna make three single crochet in every space of one uh, chain of the previous round one two and three okay let's go <laughs> I'm in the last here one two and three single crochet and now we're gonna close or finish this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this row round slip stitch and that's all let's go with round four in round four we're gonna make two slip stitch one here and one here so one slip stitch in the second single crochet and one slip stitch in the third single crochet of previous round and we're gonna start crocheting from here from the third single crochet from previous round and now we're gonna make one chain one single crochet in this stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and now we're gonna repeat the instructions so we're gonna make two single crochet in the same stitch one and two one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch and we're gonna repeat this in every stitch until the end of this round two single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch so I repeat this and now I'm in the last stitch in the last stitch I'm gonna make two single crochet one and two and now I'm gonna finish this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet and here we have we complete round four now we're gonna start with round five in round five we're gonna make one chain and in the same stitch in the first one we're gonna make one single crochet and one double crochet now we're gonna make a chain and in the next stitch we're gonna make a double crochet and a single crochet a double crochet and a single crochet and here we have one one tip of our sun now we're gonna make two slip stitch in the next stitches one and two and we're gonna repeat this 12 times more so we're I'm sorry 11 times more so we're gonna have 12 tips of our sun let's go again in the next stitch we're gonna make a single crochet a double crochet now we're gonna make a chain and in the next stitch we're gonna make a double crochet and a single crochet one slip stitch in the next stitch and one slip stitch in the next stitch and repeat 
a lot of times until you get to the end. So I'm, I'm in the last repetition, I have to make one single crochet, no, I'm sorry, one slip stitch, one slip stitch, and now I will make a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So here we have round five end. And here we have all the tips of our sun. Now we're gonna make round six. For round six, we're gonna make a slip stitch in the next double crochet. Here, we're gonna make a slip stitch. And inside this space of one chain, we're gonna make another slip stitch. And we're gonna start uh, crocheting since uh, from here okay now we will make one chain like this and one single crochet inside this space and five chains one two three four five and now we're gonna repeat the next instructions. We're gonna make one single crochet in this space of one chain and five chains until the end of this round. Okay? One single crochet, five chains. Let's go. So here, here I am in the last repetition. I'm gonna make a single crochet, five chains, one, two, three, four, and five, and now I'm gonna make a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. Here we have, okay? Now we're gonna start with round seven. In row seven, in round seven is where uh, this circle became a, a square, okay? We're gonna transform this circle in a square. So let's go. First of all, we're gonna make a slip stitch inside this arc here. So we're gonna start crocheting from here. And now we're gonna make the first corner. So first of all, we'll make one chain and one single crochet inside this space. Now we're gonna make a half double crochet. Half double crochet and two doubles crochet. One and two. Now two chains, one and two, and we're gonna make the same but in a inverse way. <laughs> so let's make two double crochet, one and two, one half double crochet, and one single crochet. Now we have one corner of our granny square. Now we're gonna make this side of the granny square until the next corner that we're gonna make it here, okay? So, in the next single crochet, we're gonna make a single crochet. And inside this arc, we're gonna make four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. One single crochet in the next single crochet, and four single crochet inside the next arc of five chains. Two, three, and four, and one single crochet in the next single crochet. So here we have one corner and one side. We're gonna repeat from here to here three times more, okay? 
to get our square ready. So the next corner we are going to make one single crochet, a half double crochet, two doubles crochet, one and two, two chains, one and two, two double crochet, one and two, a half double crochet and a single crochet. And now in the next side we're going to make a single crochet in the single crochet of the previous round, four single crochet, one, two, three and four. One single crochet in the next single crochet. See, here we have the second corner of our square. So we're gonna repeat in this all around the circle. So here I am at the end of round seven. I make my last single crochet in the last single crochet from previous round. And now I'm gonna make a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. So here we finish round seven. Now let's go with, ra with round eight. In round eight we're gonna make just one single crochet in each stitch from previous round and in the corner we're gonna crochet three single crochets. So we're gonna make first of all a chain, one single crochet in every stitch one, two, three, four, and then in the corner we're gonna make oops, three single crochet. One, two, and three. Then one single crochet in each stitch from previous round. So I'm gonna complete this round and see you here. Here I almost complete round eight. I have the last stitch with a single crochet and I'm gonna finish this round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So here we have round eight. Now let's go with round nine. In round nine, we're gonna make, uh, first of all, three chains. One, two, three. That counts as a double crochet. And one extra stitch, one chain more. So in total, we're gonna make four chains. We're gonna slip the next stitch and in the next one, we're gonna make a double crochet. Now we're gonna make another chain, we're gonna slip next stitch and in the next one we're gonna make a double crochet. And now I'm in the first single crochet of the three single crochet that I make in the, in the, in the corner. Now in the second one, that is one that is in the center of this three single crochet, I'm gonna make two double crochet, one and two, two chains, one and two, and in the same stitch, two double crochet. One and sorry and two. And here we have one corner. 
in this next stitch we're gonna make another double crochet and now we're gonna repeat one chain slip one stitch and in the next one a double crochet I'm gonna repeat this until I make the last uh, double crochet in the first single crochet from the corner in the other side okay one chain I slip one stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch so let's go until there so I'm in the last repetition I'm gonna make one chain one double crochet in the next stitch and I make this double crochet in the first single crochet from this corner so in the next stitch I'm gonna make two double crochet one and two two chains one and two and two double crochet in the same stitch one and two. One double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm gonna repeat this, all of this, all around this round. So here I have to, to make one chain and I'm gonna make a single crochet in the third chain, vale? Okay, I make four chains at the beginning of this round so I'm gonna count one, two, three, and in the third one I'm gonna make a slip stitch to finish this round. So here we have round nine. Now we're gonna work uh, one round just like the round eight. We're, we will make one chain and one single crochet in every stitch from previous round so one single crochet in every chain and one single crochet in every double crochet and in the corner we will make three single crochet here I'm in the corner so here I'm gonna make one two and three single crochet so I'm gonna make all this round and see you here so here I'm in the end of this round I'm gonna make the last single crochet one slip stitch in the first stitch from this round now we're gonna work in a different way so uh, normally we work uh, with the hook in both uh, loops okay in the front loop and in the back loop so for working now first of all we're gonna make a chain and we're gonna make a single crochet on back post from uh, the stitch so we're gonna insert our crochet hook in the middle of this V and we're gonna work only in the back loop of this stitch in the back loop single crochet in back loop single crochet and in the corners we are gonna make three single crochet in back loop so uh, we're gonna work like this So here we are in the corner. We have three single crochet in the corner. In the first one, we're gonna make one single crochet in back loop. And in the second one, that is the one that is in the center, we're gonna make three single crochet. One, two, and three. Okay? 
we're gonna continue making one single crochet in every stitch in each stitch from previous round and the next round we're gonna make just the same one single crochet in each stitch from previous round and three single crochet in the corner okay always working on back loop so see you at the end of this granny square I'm in the end of the last round in total I make 12 rounds and the last two rounds were in a single crochet in back loop so now I'm gonna uh, crochet the last stitch it's a single crochet in back loop and now I'm gonna cut the yarn leaving a long tail and then I'm gonna get out the yarn from here and with my tapestry needle I'm gonna close this um, this granny in this way this is a little tip that I always make with your tapestry uh, needle you're gonna introduce your tapestry needle like this from front to back from uh, between both strands or both uh, post of the stitch and then you're gonna introduce the needle from here from the last stitch that you crochet and here you have this little trip I like it a lot and then you're gonna close like this finish this row so and you're gonna hide the strand uh, between your work this and like this I'm sorry my English is not so good I'm doing my best I promise <laughs> I promise that I'm doing my best with this English and now with your scissors you're gonna cut this uh, thread like this and this one also like this and here you have your sun granny square you can block now this granny square washing it and then leaving in a table like this with a towel if you want under the granny square okay so see you on the next tutorial bye bye